Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have an update from the Divine Masculine. We're going to find out how he's currently feeling about the Divine Feminine in the Twin Flame Collective. Let's get straight into this. This Divine Masculine, um, there's a lot of them trying to hide sadness, okay? This person's actually trying to lie to themselves, okay? Pretend everything's okay. They feel like they made the wrong choice in this connection. They feel like they've walked away from you, made the wrong choice, and now it's like they're really upset and they're trying to hide this, this, like this falseness about this Divine Masculine at the moment. They caused a lot of conflict. They're in a lot of confusion right now. They could have tried to, I'm getting this Divine Masculine is acting like they made the right choice, even though they know they didn't. This person, um, their communication's off, okay? They may be entertaining somebody else now, and it's like they're saving you for later, or... There's something where they're acting like they're happy, okay, when they're not because they feel like this is over because they were paying attention to somebody else and not you. And this person's very materialistic. Um, it's like they wanted, they wanted, uh, they're making really selfish decisions, okay. Yeah, they definitely thought they could have, um, I don't know, I'm feeling like this um, Divine Masculine had some type of temptation um, in front of them and they, re like, what's it? they gave in to temptation, okay? Um, and now they're stressing. They realise they made the wrong choice, but at the same time, they're pretending that they're really happy. Like, to the public, they're pretending that they have made the right choice here. They're pretending, it's like they're hiding this sadness. This person feels like they're stuck, okay? They feel like they've made the wrong choice. There's no coming back from it. Um, they're really upset because of this separation period. I feel like you guys haven't spoken for a while. You may have cut them off. Um, they feel like whatever they've done here um, has basically made no... Like, you're not going to want... They feel like you're not going to want to give them another chance because this, whatever they've done, really hurt you. And it's like they intentionally hurt you um, because they didn't realise how they were actually feeling. They weren't in their heart centre. They were in their mind, okay? Um, definitely made a selfish decision here and now they're pretending that they're happy when they're not. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces or a Virgo. This person like kicking themselves because they did not realise your worth at the time. At the time, they thought they could do better or they thought they could try to make you jealous or they did not realise your worth. Um, it's like they've got themselves tangled up, right, in this really dark situation and all they can really think is coming back to you and having a new beginning, but they feel like they've basically ruined all chances of that happening. This person had two choices, okay? It's like somebody came up to them um, and, yeah, they definitely... Very immature, okay? When, very immature. This person's immature when it comes to love. They're immature. So they were more, like, thinking about their dick or something, um, or their vagina, like, literally, they are more into, like, they go wherever, like, they feel like they're going to, um, get, you know, sex, okay, and there's something about you where it's, like, they feel like they had to wait or you were hard to get, um, so they decided to go in this other direction, um, now they realise they've made the wrong choice, okay, you're very, like, high value, okay, high it's like you have this um, high presence about you, okay, this energy, this aura that is irreplaceable. A 
I'm getting something about a broken leg. Okay, let me know if that resonates for you. This person at the time definitely was a lot more immature than what they are now. Um, this had made them grow. They've also realized your worth, okay, and how you're like, you're unlike anyone else. Like, they are used to, like, coming across a certain type of person. They thought they had it figured out. Yeah, but they realize now that you're not like other people. They could have tried to play a game with you, um like a mind game here to try to confuse you, try to bring somebody else into the picture to try to make you jealous. Um, but I am getting that you cut them off, like, you know, you weren't having this game that they were playing. Um, you seen that this person was trying to, like, juggle you or something, and you completely cut them off. Yeah, this person's really heartbroken at the moment. They're really heartbroken because they feel like they've made the wrong choice. It's like they've betrayed themselves. They want to um, they want to talk to you. This person really wants to fix things here with you, but they feel like there's no chance of that happening. There is a lot of this person lying too. Like, this person's a straight-out liar, and they're lying about their feelings. They're pretending that they're fine when they're not. It's like they're trying to bury their feelings right now, trying to hide them, trying to pretend that they're fine, trying to pretend that this has not affected them. This person cannot stop dreaming about you. They cannot stop getting signs about you, thinking about you, realizing they made the wrong choice. And they're not really sure what to do. Like It's like they're trying to bury this heartbreak and they're trying to like put on this very strong character, pretending... Again, that they're okay. So you may, like, go on their social media. Um, this person may be acting the exact same, like, that they're fine. This person's actually having some type of spiritual awakening and they're realising. So it's like whatever choice they made has drove this person into a spiritual awakening and they're realising that they're scared. There's no coming back from this. They don't feel like there's any coming back from this. They feel like that they've made this wrong choice and they're not really sure what to do with it. Wow. King and Queen of Pentacles together, guys. Oh my gosh, and the Ten of Pentacles underneath the Queen of Pentacles. Like, it's like they realise now that you're the one that they want this, like, happily ever after with, like... I keep hearing high value. Like, they look at you on such a high regard. This person definitely had grown up from this um, experience. But again, they are acting like they're fine, even though they know they're meant to be with you. It's like they knew they're meant to be with you, okay, they, but they decided it, instead they're going to go towards this sexual connection and pretend that they're happy. Guys, Emperor, clarified by the Emperor in, re, uh, sorry, Empress in reverse. Wow. It's like this person, okay, walked away from you, now you, they're, they feel like there's no coming back and now they realize they're meant to be with you but they feel like that there's no way that you would ever take them back because you try to juggle them uh, sorry they try to juggle you they also could have tried to hide their feelings for you um pretend they didn't feel the way they did person feels like they've had some type of past life with you like you guys were married in a past life okay or it's like they feel like this very strong soul connection to you and they're realizing that now they can't stop thinking about it, it could be dealing with a capricorn you could be dealing with a taurus or an aries again this person feels like they've they've gone in a really bad direction and they're stuck in it um, it's really toxic, okay, wherever they're at with who, I'm getting they're in a relationship with somebody, and they're pretending that it's, like, happily ever after, and they're so happy, but really, they know they're meant to be with you, really, they feel a soul connection with you, they feel a past life connection with you, like, you do something to them that they've never felt before, like, 
you literally make them feel all the feelings in their heart center, okay, it's like they can't forget about you. They're realizing now that, again, you're not like everyone else, like they try to play you, they try to lie to you, they try to do something sneaky here to you, and it's like they got locked out, like you literally like blocked them or you literally cut them off, you were not having this. You could be dealing with a Leo. This person feels regretful because it's like they were hiding their feelings, okay? They went in a different direction. Now they feel like you have all these options. Um, they feel like that you have all these opportunities. They feel like that they've taken a complete step back, okay? They're in this really painful situation. It's like this person can't even sleep properly without thinking about you. Everywhere they go, it's like they get signs about you. It's like they're reminded of you. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You're definitely dealing with somebody that um, doesn't like to show their feminine side at all, like their emotions at all, okay? Um, they thought that the connection put them too much in their heart center, okay? It was making them feel really romantic and they weren't very comfortable with that. So it's like they tried to bring some type of third party into this, okay? Um, definitely gave into some type of temptation and now they feel stuck in that. Yeah, it's like they're stuck in that, but it's like they're pretending that they're fine, that they're happy, but yet they cannot stop thinking about how they turned away from you and the connection and how they feel like that you guys are meant to be together. Like, they're literally in love with you. This person knows they did not go, they know they made the wrong choice. They know that they've missed this opportunity because they made the wrong choice, like it's literally their fault and they're going through a lot of pain here. I'm getting 444. So yeah, this person decided to try to walk away from this love because they were really in their feelings, okay, and they did not feel comfortable there. So they walked away, did something, tried to play you, tried to confuse you. Um, now they feel like this is a missed opportunity because of them. And now they're realizing they're in love with you, but they're the ones that slowed shit down and they're not really sure if you're... This person's trying to like manifest a new beginning here, okay? Um, but I am getting that they don't really... Yeah, they feel like that they've completely ruined this, okay? You could be dealing with a Gemini. They feel like they've completely manipulated this, okay? they played game with the wrong person here. Now they're really upset. They did not realize what this was, right? They went in the wrong direction. They feel stuck, okay? There's definitely some type of addiction here or codependency or something toxic that, um... So I am getting with these two cards, okay, like these two cards together, that indicate spell work to me. Um, I am getting they may have thought that you put some type of spell on them, okay, but now they realise this is actually love, right? Um, this person didn't actually believe in love before, okay, so they thought that you did something here to make them stuck on you, so they decided to go in some other direction. Now they're realizing that it's love and they made the wrong decision and now they don't really know how to come back from it. I'm hearing the name Lisa. This person doesn't seem to be doing anything. Like, they're thinking about moving forward, but again, they feel like it's safer for them to just pretend that they're fine. This person really wants this new beginning here with you. Somebody here is manifesting or trying to even do spell work for a new chance here with you. Like, literally, I'm getting this person is getting, like, to the point where they are going in. Like, they're having a spiritual awakening, but they're also trying to manifest this. They're trying to... 
doing some type of spell work here, right? They're trying to, they're desperate for another chance, but they're not really doing anything in the 3D here. It's like they're all over the place. This person's literally all over the place. There's a lot of confusion here on this person's end, okay? They're in a really dark place. They're, again, trying to hide the fact that they're heartbroken and they feel like they've ruined this on their own terms by trying to make you compete with somebody. So I'm getting it's been a long time and this person cannot get over this. Like, they cannot get over this and they don't know what to do. So they're trying to, like, literally do everything, like, manifest, spell work to try to get a new chance here, a new beginning here. Yeah, because they think that they can't stop thinking about you and it's like they're in this hole. I don't know why I'm hearing that. They're in this hole without you. I just need 555. They're so heartbroken here. They're in such a dark place, but they're trying to hide it. They feel like that you would never take them back because of some type of third party situation. Yeah, they try to make you jealous, okay? It's like they try to pretend that they were so happy with somebody else, okay, but when they really just want to be with you. And now they and now you block them or something, or it's like you weren't playing that game with them. Um and now they feel like that they they can't get over yeah. They feel like they've made so many wrong decisions here. They don't know how to so they feel like if they communicate with you in the 3D, you're going to reject them. And they're scared of rejection, right? You could be dealing with a Leo. Um, they're extremely scared of rejection. So they're trying to, like, do some type of spell or something or manifest this, okay? This person's literally trying everything here to try to manifest you. Like, they're literally... I am getting that they're not actually doing anything in the 3D, like they're not talking to you because they feel like you'll reject them. They also feel like they're not good enough for you, like they look at you as the emperor, okay? They, yeah, they feel like they made the wrong choice here, they made no movement, like no movement whatsoever. They're trying to do this in their mind though. This person's like trying to... They're really um, opening up spiritually. They're trying to figure out how. It's like they're trying to get you to communicate with them because they feel stupid. They feel like you'll reject them. So they're trying to like manifest you to communicate with them or trying to do some type of like communi communication spell, love spell. Like I'm getting that they feel like you're really um, spiritual and it's like they're following your footsteps, right? But they also feel like that whatever they're doing is not working. Like they're trying to get you to communicate with them, but it's not working. This person, okay, it's like they cannot stand um, not communicating with you. This person watches you a lot, okay? Like they continuously watch you but hold themselves back from communicating. They, um, who they show, okay, so they show themselves to be somebody that, hmm, I am getting this narcissistic vibe. I'm getting that they show narcissistic traits, okay? They may have lied to you. I don't know, but this is like a narcissistic card, right? So, I'm getting that the person they showed to you, like, definitely... It's definitely somebody that they feel like you're not going to want a new beginning here with, right? This person used to, like, causing conflict. They do have some type of toxic trait, Okay. Um, they're used to, like, causing conflict, walking away from people. Like, I'm literally getting this person who doesn't have, like, you know, friends for a long time. Or, like, people just, they end up cutting people off. And they end up sabotaging things themselves. 
this person makes very selfish decisions, okay? But this decision um, resulted in them not speaking to you, them not being able to access you, and they're realizing now with the Four of Wands, this is like a special connection, that this is like a twin flame connection, um, and they want to commit to you. They have so much passion here for you. They think you're absolutely beautiful, um, very intelligent, and they feel like that they've definitely done you wrong and they've missed this opportunity. They're realizing now with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles um, that they want to commit to you now. Like, in the past, okay, they were making decisions that benefited themselves, okay? They were very selfish decisions. They weren't thinking. They're realizing um, there is no one like you. And they tried to make you compete here with somebody that was, like, literally, they couldn't even compare to you. Um... And again, you weren't playing no games with this person. Like, you weren't going to, you know, be an option here after you cut them off or you called them out on their games, okay? This person's really intimidated by you now. They want to speak to you, but you make them nervous. I'm getting this person really in their ego as well. Like, nobody makes them nervous. Um, you're dealing with somebody that... Um, I'm here in con, man. Um, yeah, but... Wow, okay. So, you're dealing with somebody that has this very, like, tough exterior that literally nobody wants to fuck with, okay? Because people are scared of this person. But, like, you literally confronted this person for trying to play games with you, and now they're intimidated by you. Like, because they don't expect anybody to ever stand up to them, and then you stood up to them. And they're like, holy shit, what do I do? Like, wow. And now they're really intimidated by you. Like, because you had the guts to, like, stand up to them, call them out on their game, call them out on their bullshit here. <clears throat> they tried to make you jealous with somebody else, and you, like, literally called them out. And now... I don't know, it's like that, they really like that too. They love the fact that you are like, you call them out, like you're not scared of them. Like a lot of people will not talk to this person. They may talk behind their back, but they will not confront this person because this person is the type of person to like explode. Um, I'm getting that, like, I, I keep getting drawn to um, the abs here. Like, I'm getting this person like, you know, muscly and everything and people are scared of them. Right. And the thing is, is, yeah, you're not scared of them. Like, you called them out. Now they're intimidated. Like, it's like you called them out. Nobody had ever called this person out like this. And now it's like they've taken a step back. Like, they really took this to heart. But they also like the fact that you did this. And they feel like that they, you're the one they want to be with now. But they're also intimidated. They don't know how to approach you, right? Because they feel like that you, their manipulative ways don't work on you, right? I'm hearing the name Rebecca. Like, they feel like that this person literally manipulates their way through life and nobody ever calls them out because people are scared of them, right? But you called them out and now they're like, oh, well, how do I approach this person? Because now they want to be with you. They know this. They love you. Um, they feel like that you guys would be perfect together, okay? Um, they like the fact that you called them out. They like the fact that... Um, you know, you didn't, they like your honesty, okay, there's like this bluntness about you, I'm hearing calls a spade a spade, so you literally, yeah, and now it's like they want to come back, but they don't really know how to approach you, because they came off as really manipulative, like a liar, like, and they also realise that you can see through their manipulative ways, and it doesn't work on them, on you, sorry, could be dealing with Capricorn, could be dealing with Taurus, a lot of Earth. So this person realizes now that you're not going to be an option. So they could have tried to make you like feel like an option in the past and you called them out and now they realize, oh, this person's not going to be an option and they want to commit to you, but they also realize they need to drop everybody else, okay? And they're ready to do this, but they are sort of scared because, again, they don't really know how to approach you. They're really intimidated by you. But it like turns them on or something.
You could be dealing with a Leo here. I don't know, this person feels like you're literally not into them because you told them off or something. I don't know why I'm getting this like dynamic where they feel like I'm getting you could have pulled your energy away. They feel like you're really hard to get and they love this. Okay, if that makes sense. Like they feel like that you're not like everybody else. So they, it's like they figured out how to like get what they want from other people, but you're not like that. It's like you're the challenge, okay? They don't really know how to approach you and they love that about you. It's like this person used to getting what they want, okay? Um, so they know how to approach people. They are very manipulative, okay? Um, and they're used to getting what they want here. But the fact that their games don't work on you, it's like they, it, they love it. They literally love it. It's like they have this love-hate relationship with it, though, because they feel like when they do approach you that they're going to get rejected because they don't know how to approach you, right? Their games don't work. You can see right through this person. Yeah, again, they look at you as somebody... They have a lot of respect for you, okay? Um, so, like, this person... Not many people intimidate this person, but you do. And that freaks them out, okay? So they may actually, like, keep themselves away from you because they don't know how to approach you. All this person wants to do is, like, move towards you, okay? They feel very romantic, a lot of passion here for you. They want to take action, but they don't know how to approach it. Yeah, they feel like you're so mysterious. Like, there's something so mysterious about you right they also feel like you're really loyal um you're so different to everyone they've ever come across and they love that it's like they're stuck on this energy they may have tried to find somebody like you but they feel like they cannot find anybody like you like you have this real mysterious presence to you they don't really know how to like get into your um energy Yeah, this person, they cannot get over you. They cannot get over you. They also get really upset if you talk to anyone else because they feel like you're meant to be together even though you guys are not communicating. They feel like they... Literally, you guys are meant to be together, right? Really bad communication, though. Really bad communication. Somebody here is hiding their feelings. If not, both of you are hiding your feelings here, right? You guys are definitely on different pages, okay? Um, this person definitely approaches love in, like, a manipulative way, okay? They feel like they know how to get what they want. Um, they also don't know how to approach you. They're in this, like, game. Like, they look at this as a game. Like, not in a bad way or anything. It's just, like, they're trying to figure this shit out as a game. Like, they're not coming to you and being very honest, okay? They're trying to, like, even manifest shit like that. Um, but there is a lot of, like, nobody coming forward and letting, hiding feelings, I'm getting the masculine hiding feelings, okay, which is causing a whole lot of imbalance here, okay, especially, you guys are definitely, you guys, so it's like, you guys don't know what's going on, right, because there's no communication here, like, you both feel this way about each other, but I'm getting there's a lot of, like, 5D, but not a 3D, right? So both of you feel like you're meant to be together, but nobody's saying anything here, if that makes sense, okay? Um, so that's all I have for you. I really hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.